Dogs Flock 2 is right behind the corner, with a new teaser posted by Splash, the hype gets even bigger, so let's analyze this teaser and find the mysteries of Flock 2. The teaser starts inside the mines where we'll be playing in. This place already looks way darker than the hotel, so maybe that's why there are so many lights around. And one thing that I've noticed about this area is that it has multiple layers. We can see a long bridge along with some closets on top and a ladder that we will most probably be able to go down on it in order to get to the bottom area. However, these next scenes get even more interesting. Here we can see a room that is actually flooded with a door opened, but it looks like the water is not that high up. Seeing how the hiding locker is barely flooded, I think that the player will be able to go through this without a problem. But a really mysterious thing that I found in this scene is a sound that I can't really understand where it's coming from. Take a look at the sound. I can only come up with two explanations. This is either the player that's swimming in the water and is trying to breathe, or it's something else down there that's trying to breathe. Something that might try to catch us. In this next scene we can actually see a brighter room that has more nature in it. But we can also see eyes. So looks like Eyes will make a return in Floor 2. But that's not all, looks like he also has a new power. He can now teleport around the area which would make him harder to not be looked at. So that's a cool little upgrade. But at first when I saw this nature around this room, especially the vines, I thought about one and one thing only. The shears. The secret shears that were gonna be used in Floor 1 but were scrapped later on. So maybe in Floor 2 we will finally have the shears as an actual useful item. Going to the next scene, well, these are the real mines. We might be able to finally take a look at a completely new entity or system. Here we can see some sort of moths or flies that are flying around the lights of the area and these flies are actually breaking the lights. So what I think is happening here is that the flies are a completely new entity and whenever they come to break the lights it means that they are going to attack you so you have to hide from them. Or the second theory that might be the more accurate one is about Rush, if he actually appears in Floor 2, is that whenever Rush comes, instead of the lights actually breaking themselves, the flies will actually appear to break them in order to show you that he's coming to get you, which again would be a really cool system. And a small detail I saw in this scene, at the end of this, the camera actually goes inside a broken wall in the mines, which could maybe or maybe not mean something. But let's go to the next scene and the last one where we can actually see the elevator with the player going down until it hits and actually breaks. So this also confirms that we will not be able to go back up with the elevator anymore. We will have to find another way to escape. And we can also see the player getting up, not looking hurt at all surprisingly, but before he continues to move, I've noticed some stuff on him that made me question some things. First of all, our character is wearing a cross chain, and I don't think this was a mistake, I think that the cross chain was intended to be there. So is doors bringing religion to the lore? I mean, there have been a lot of religious items and symbols in this game already, from the crucifix to the statues and even this entire blue circle that entities get from the crucifix, so we might continue to see more and more religious items and objects inside the doors, but besides the cross chain, I've also seen a backpack and a crowbar that the player has. The backpack might just be a UGC item that's part of the avatar, but the crowbar really does not look like a UGC item. But where would the player even take a crowbar from while being in a falling elevator? I don't see where the crowbar could be from, but I guess we'll have to see. Also, at the end of the video, we can also see a generator just standing there, and that's making me think that we will definitely be needing it for a quest. Maybe we will need to repair it or activate it in order to turn the lights or maybe even open some door, but looks like we'll have to wait and see. Now you should open the next door of this video and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.